Located about five miles from Bluff Street off SR-18 in St. George, the Ledges has become its own community to the north of the city. Established near Winchester Hills and east of Snow Canyon State Park, the Ledges now has its own Fish Rock Park, central to the area, complements of the city of St. George. Uh, we're standing up here in the Ledges, and this is Fish Rock Park. It's newly completed, um, and it was named after the fish up on the rock right there. This will be the first city park in, up in this area. Um, and it's been a concern for some time that people up here have nowhere to come and kick a ball or throw a Frisbee. In the past, there's been residents using a golf course for that, which we know doesn't, isn't allowed. And so um, it, it was time for us to build a park up here and provide a place for the residents to be able to come and enjoy the open space and, and recreate. The three-acre park off Red Racer Drive also includes a play area for children and pickleball courts. The biggest thing that people are going to be attracted to this park for is the four pickleball courts behind you. Uh, pickleball is in demand right now and people love it. So um, they'll be able to come up here and play pickleball. Um, they'll be able to have a restroom facility with a drinking fountain. Um, a pavilion right behind us and a small playground with kind of an attached play garden with it. At a total cost of around $1.3 million, Fish Rock Park is set to open sometime around the middle of July. Um, as soon as the nets are up in the pickleball courts and the restroom is complete, it will be open. Located across from the St. George Energy Services building, a new pedestrian and bike trail has also been added to St. George's trail system. Temple Springs Trail now serves as a connector from Red Hills Parkway to St. George Boulevard. It provides a scenic overlook of downtown St. George. Um, we provided a concept just to put a trail through there for phase one. Um, and the city rallied behind it and they provided the support. At a cost of around $700,000, the Temple Springs Trail also clears up an area where police were having concerns. That um, there'd been a lot of, a lot of homeless camps um, and a lot of um, crime in the area and it was really hard to surveil for the St. George Police Department. So they were the ones that approached us and said, hey, can we, can we clean this up somehow? Can we, can we improve this space so that it's not so hard for us to, to get in here? The new trail system is fairly steep and provides good climbs both ways for riders and hikers. There are some 20% 20, some 20 grades there, so uh, if you're going to go there, you, you need to take your hiking shoes and, and be ready for a climb. The Temple Springs Nature Park is named after the springs that were once used to irrigate the LDS Church Temple grounds. Multiple springs still exist along the park route and streams can be found running alongside the trail. The city now owns the, the water and still delivers to the church, but uh, there are still springs on site. And so, you know, you can go up on site and you'll see quite lush, you know, for the area. Um, with vegetation, there's even uh, palm trees there that are thriving naturally because of the, the groundwater there. Um, as you're walking up the trail too, you'll cross bridges because there's little streams of water and then there's even some, some wall faces with, which has water seeping through it and dripping down. So. Nielsen, who helped design both of these, says St. George is known for its parks and recreation areas and these two additions should add a lot. I do believe that that's, you know, a very important thing to the city of St. George that we have so many parks and that they're, they're beautiful and that they provide people with opportunities to, to come out here and enjoy the natural scenery that we have. So if you're out for an adventure, take plenty of water during the cool part of the day and explore what St. George Parks and Rec Trails have to offer. In St. George, Melissa Anderson Community Education News.